Okay, John the Trans Guy here, and what have we got ourselves into today? We are working on an 04 Kia Sedona that is storing a PO320 code, and the definition of this code is Ignition Distributor Engine Speed Circuit Fault. And the tachometer does not work. So this turns on the check engine light, may affect some drivability problems, and no tack. So I'm going to show you what we found to repair this problem. Okay, the ignition distributor speed sensor is located underneath the hood of the car. Where else would it be, right? Take off the cover here, which I've already done, and it's right there. I've got my light on it right now, if you can see it. Plugs into this harness right here, and it has two 10 millimeter bolts that hold it down. So let me back the light off a little bit. There's the air box. You can locate it from there, and it's right there. That's it right there. And this is what it looks like when it's out of the car. This thing right here. It's just a three or four prong sensor. And this is what most commonly fails on this thing. Now, there is some really good uh, video that shows how to diagnose and test to see if the sensor is bad. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough just to have a good used one here, a known good one. So I just plug, plugged it in to some plugs. You just push down this little clip right here and unplug it. A little hairline, hair, uh, wire clip right there. And I just plugged mine in and it fixed it. Uh, I think South Main Auto Repair has a, a half hour video that shows how to diagnose and repair this thing, test the circuits. But we just plug a good used one in and it fixed it. Okay, so you don't have to bolt it down. You just plug it in and start the car up and see if the tachometer works. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so we have a working tack now, and we've already cleared the codes, and the check engine light is off and staying off. Hopefully, that'll take care of it. So, that's the most common problem with these things is the actual sensor itself that bolts on top of the engine, two 10 millimeter bolts. Um, if you have a good one, plug it in, see if it fixes it. If not, you know, there's some really good videos on YouTube about how to test power and grounds to this sensor and see if that's the problem there. So thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. Have a good day.